Hello, I'm Alan Beggs, and in this interactive animation, I'd like to explain a little about how mutations in several different genes all cause a single muscle disease. Nemelin myopathy is a rare genetic disease that results in variable degrees of muscle weakness. Working with colleagues from around the world, we have discovered that Nemelin myopathy can be caused by mutations in any one of at least six different genes. To understand how some of these gene mutations affect strength, Let's first go deep inside a muscle and see how it works. Use your mouse in the menu on the left to explore this anatomy. When you're ready, go to the next screen where you'll see the thin filament in more detail, which will help us understand how the various gene mutations all call it weakness. Here we have zoomed way in on a thin filament, showing some of the individual proteins that make it up. Muscle contraction begins when a nerve stimulates the muscle fiber, causing calcium to rush in. This starts a molecular dance between the thick and thin filaments. Use your mouse in the box at left to explore these working parts. First, calcium binds to the troponin complex, the group of structures shown in yellow. This causes the neighboring tropomyosin molecules, shown in blue, to move. And this movement allows the myosin heads in the thick filament, the red structures you see at the top, to grab and pull on the actin molecules, shown as gray balls, in the thin filament. This slides the entire thin filament to the right. This cycle, which repeats over and over again, is the mechanical basis for muscle contraction. When you're done, on the next screen, you will be able to watch what happens when the genes for some of these thin filament proteins are mutated in patients with nemelin myopathy. Here you see a schematic diagram of a single contractile unit, or sarcomere, with its thick and thin sliding filaments. On the right is an electron microscope picture of actual muscle tissue. In healthy muscle, the tissue is highly organized and the sarcomeres are arranged in orderly rows. Now click on the buttons to watch the thin filament in action, first in normal muscle and then in patients with mutations causing nemelin myopathy. See how the three gene mutations affect the filament differently, yet all lead to weakened muscle contraction. In all three cases, also notice how the abnormal thin filaments and Z-bands have formed dark clumps called nemelin rods. These rods further interfere with the orderly structure needed for strong muscle contraction.
Here you can view the effects of these mutations simultaneously, comparing them directly to each other. As you can see, all three kinds of mutations ultimately weaken muscle contraction, but they do it in different ways. Once you've viewed these animations, click the Next button, and I'll answer some questions about the congenital myopathies.